Welcome Mad Dog Books. I'm Mike. Today we're going to go over Leadership Strategy and Tactics by Jocko Willink. Please keep in mind there's only my notes and interpretations on this book. If you're interested in reading further, go ahead and check it out for yourself. Now let's begin. First key point, lead yourself first. Be a role model that you would follow. It starts by taking responsibility for the negative consequences. It's easy to win as a team, it's hard to lose as a team. The reason for this is because as soon as there's a loss, the team is going to look to push blame on the other members of the team. So what you do, you take responsibility for the blame so that the team can move on and put their effort and full ability into the next mission. What also happens when you take responsibility for the mission is you're going to make it your personal duty to do whatever is necessary to be as prepared as possible for success. When it's on your shoulders for the team to succeed, you're going to put your full effort and attention to ensure that this happens. When you do this, the rest of the team is going to see you do this and follow suit. So off the first key point, lead yourself first. Take responsibility for the team's actions as your personal duty and obligation to succeed. Second key point, drop your ego. Build relationships with the rest of the people on your team and trust that they will do their jobs. In turn, be trusted to do yours. When you don't have to worry about whether or not other people are going to take responsibility for the team's mission and do their part, you can put your sole focus on your own job and your own task at hand. When everyone does this, the team works better because you're utilizing everyone to their strengths. Everyone is giving their absolute best effort, doing the absolute best they can do. Everyone is taking responsibility for the team's goal. When you're focused on doing your own job, you're not comparing yourself to other people on the team and therefore cannot blame other people on the team for the success or failure of the mission. So it goes back to taking responsibility for the negative consequences of the team and taking your own duty and obligation into the team's goal. A third and final key point on leadership strategy and tactics by Jocko Willink is the four laws of combat. Number one, cover and move. Trust others and they will trust you in return. Number two, keep things simple. Keep your strategies and plans replicable under any circumstances or any stress. Number three, prioritize and execute. Decide what the most important thing is for the mission and then do it. Number four, decentralize command. Build relationships with other people. Put trust in them to do their jobs. Give them responsibility on the mission and they will take personal responsibility and personal pride in the mission and make it their duty and obligation to complete the mission. Four laws of combat, cover and move, simple, for prioritize and execute, and decentralize command. My last little point for this video is commit to the strategic mission and know the tactical mission. The strategic mission can be thought of as the destination, the tactical mission is the directions. You cannot change your destination, but you can change how to get there. You can adapt new ways to get there. If you take a left and you're supposed to take a right, you can go around the block and figure it out from there but you cannot change your destination. That destination is the team's goal. That destination is your duty and obligation to reach. So, I hope you guys got something out of this video. Once again, this was Leadership Strategy and Tactics by Jocko Willink. If you're interested in reading further, buy the book for yourself on Amazon, or you can look into the rest of my notes down below. That's all I've got. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys next time.